Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. This video is yet another delightful, delectable, see I told you so moment because we in the XRP community are being proven right yet again. Now we have Joe Lubin, who is one of the uh, co-founders of Ethereum, flipping on the SEC. Just a year ago, uh, he was praising Gary Gensler in disgusting ways. In fact, I'm going to give you the quote because it's the most vomit-inducing quote praising Gary Gensler I've ever heard from any human in my entire life. That, and that says a lot, right? Because especially back in 2020 when uh, Ripple was getting the shaft, when the lawsuit came down from the SEC, um, it was very popular back then to praise the SEC. Ripple deserves it. Screw those XRP holders. Remember all that? Uh, so there were a lot of disgusting things said. But as far as disgusting things said specifically uh, praising Gary Gensler, this is at the top of the heap here. But now he recognizes that uh, actually all of crypto is under attack, including his organization, including Ethereum. He's done a complete 180 on his stance here. And you know what's funny about this? He sounds like, at this point, like an XRP holder. He's saying a lot of the same things that we've been saying since the SEC attacked our entire community and Ripple. How about that? So I'll give you the exact quote here, but before going further, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, so just to remind you here, here this is the headline from April 25th from Coindesk. Consensus sues SEC over unlawful seizure of authority over Ethereum. And so Consensus, of course, that is the organization founded by Joe Lubin, who is also, again, the Ethereum co-founder. So Consensus, is its entire mission is to build out all things Ethereum. In a nutshell, that's it. And so this headline that I just read to you came just weeks after we learned that the SEC had sent out Wells notices to various uh, various organizations, in including the Ethereum Foundation, by the way. We, so we found one went out to Consensus. Uh, Wells' notice, of course, indicates that the SEC intends to sue those entities. Uh, and then the commissioners still have to technically vote on it, but it's a virtual certainty at that point. You know, once a Wells notice goes out, it's it's a very high probability that's what's going to happen. And in the, in the case of crypto, I'd be very surprised if it didn't go through. So that happens. Uh, consensus uh, gets aggressive, which I actually support. That's the right move. You know, just don't don't just sit back. And so they, they're taking the fight to the SEC. But... Um, this is kind of funny because, and I got I have to highlight this again for anybody that missed it because this is too incredible not to highlight. Uh, there's an employee, a lawyer, uh, at Consensus named Matt Corva. This is him right there. Here you can see his, his, his uh, account on social media platform X. He's an attorney at Consensus. On December 22nd, 2020, that's the day the SEC sued Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse was warning, hey, this isn't an attack just on Ripple and just on XRP. This is an attack on all things crypto. And uh, Matt Corva just scoffed at that. Look at the comment from December 22nd. He said, I won't comment on the merits, but this attempted play at attack on crypto is pretty laughable. In five years of doing this, I haven't heard anyone interested in or working on decentralized tech, tech or crypto say anything positive about XRP. Crypto will be just fine. <laughs> So that has obviously aged like a fine milk. And then as far as uh, XRP not participating, now mind you, these comments I'm about to share with you, I don't know if I, I don't think I mentioned in this video, actually. The comments I'm going to share with you, uh, they were actually, uh, so they, they were at Consensus 2024. Um, and I'll, I will have you note, so Joe Lubin's speaking there, and uh, there is an XRP section because XRP not only exists, but is actually thriving. So his comment obviously has aged like a fine milk. Um, so it is what it is though, but check out this quote. So I'm going to share, you know what I'm going to share with you first is, um, the one from a year ago, and this is just vomit inducing. It really truly is despicable what he said here. And then just the 180 from this though. So, uh, the first quote that I'll share with you again from a year ago, this is from originally shared by DAI. Uh, it was recorded on, I think, yeah, March 14th, 2023. All right. And so here is what Joe Lubin said on stage. He said, um, and I quote, this will be a little controversial, 
I think that Gary Gensler and the SEC are doing a great job of driving projects in our ecosystem to radically decentralize themselves. I could even call Gary Gensler the shining knight of decentralization. <laughs> Can you believe this crap? I remember talking about this on my channel a year ago when he said this. Uh, it's it's just it's hilarious, but it, it is vomit inducing. If, I'm sorry if any of you had to up. I hope since I gave you the warning that it's vomit inducing. If you're driving, I hope you pulled over so you could like spew out your car door uh, because you know I'd, I'd be worried about any of you up chucking whilst on the highway. It's hard to keep your hands on the wheels at ten and two when you're vomiting. But that's how bad this was. Shiny. He called him the shiny knight of decentralization. What in the ever-loving hell? Now, of course, the reason he's doing that is because he, at least at the time, felt that uh, everything that he's doing is protected. It's totally fine. You know, you crap on everything else in the world of crypto as long as, uh, you know, there's that Ethereum free pass. But as I warned over the last several years, as this has been going on, I said, and I've said it many times, that Ethereum is not in the clear. I said maybe it's the case, and I even admitted it's probably not likely the SEC is going to go after him because they'd have to do that about face, but don't be surprised if they do. I warned because, and I, and I said, why? It's because, uh, yeah, they got the free pass from Bill Hinman in June, June uh, 14th, I believe it was, 2018, and then from uh, Jay Clayton, who helped, helped uh, you know, modify the draft, and there were many others as well that uh, dr helped draft that Ethereum free pass speech. But Jay Clayton and, uh, and Bill Hinman, they're not at the SEC anymore. There are new sheriffs in town. And Gary Ginsler wants to destroy it all. So as I warned years ago, maybe instead of going against the XRP community and Ripple, maybe you should have banded together and we as a crypto community should have pushed back against this nonsense. Too little, too late. And now they're under attack. Now they're pushing back, but <laughs> not, not exactly great. So what's Joe Lubin saying today? Because he's completely changed his tune. Well, my fellow XRP YouTuber, Crypto Eddie, shared this clip and I'm going to share with you uh, a select portion of this. Um, and so this is Joe Lubin literally today at Consensus. And he has completely flipped on the SEC. Go figure. Doesn't that doesn't just make it incredibly clear that the crap he was saying a little over a year ago, Gary Gensler, oh, the SEC is doing a great job. You know he didn't believe that. He, was, he believed they were doing a job insofar as it was protecting his organization or so he thought. That's it though. So check this out. Here's Lubin explaining why Consensus sued the SEC this year. Quote, the SEC has been gaslighting our industry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a pause already. There. But I thought Gary Gensler was a, a shiny knight of decentralization. And now the organization he's in charge of is gaslighting everyone, including you. <laughs> oh my, how times have changed. And this all just started because, of course, he was being intellectually honest back then, which means all this alleged gaslighting. It must have started post those comments, Right? Right? Of course not. So again, he says, the SEC has been gaslighting our industry and intentionally unclear, not engaging in open dialogue, not engaging, not interested in clear rulemaking as a non-merit-based regulator should. They have been threatening everybody and slowing everybody down. And this action was a way for us to sort of put them on their heels and request that they answer our questions. Like, is Ether a commodity? As the SEC has said repeatedly, and as the CFTC has said consistently for maybe 10 years, or have you actually made this secret determination that you've reclassified Ether as a security? Okay, so um, part of what he said there, very obviously not true. The SEC never said that uh, ETH, Ether was a security. Or wasn't a security, rather. The, the SEC never gave it a, a free pass. No, no, no. That was Bill Henry. Remember, those were his personal comments. Remember that being argued in the SEC v. Ripple case? Lubin, you're, you're misunderstanding here, my friend. You completely misunderstood what was going on here this whole time. <laughs> ETH was never in the clear and still isn't in the clear. There is no reclassification here. And he knows that. He's still being intellectually dishonest because he's a liar. He's a straight-up liar. Whatever he thinks is good for him and his organization, he's going to say that. No intellectual honesty. Throw everyone else under the bus. That's that. That's Joe Lubin for you, everybody. And, and you know what? Lubin went on to say the SEC is doing this to destroy crypto in America. And he said it's a rigged game in favor of banks. 
you know, he's starting to sound like one of us crazy XRP conspiracy theorists, isn't he? That's too crazy. What do you mean? Rig system favoring banks? What are you talking about? Are you kidding? He sounds like one of us, one of us. <laughs> oh my God, this is a riot. And this comes on the heels of this. Did you guys see this too? This is from a couple days ago. CPAC files complaints against former SEC official for unethical behavior. Oh, that's right. Yet another organization coming after Billy Boy Hinman for the Ethereum free pass speech and all of the unethical stuff he did. Remember, Bill Hinman profited to the tune of $15 million. Uh, as a result of what happened um, with the Ethereum free pass speech and the fact that he his uh, then former law firm, Simpson Thatcher Bartlett, uh, was part of the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. Remember that whole thing? $15 million? Nothing to see here, though, folks. There's nothing shady. You see smoke? There's no fire. What are you talking about? Don't believe your lying eyes. So check this out. And this is from CPAC, uh, so it reads as follows. Last week, director of the CPAC Foundation Center for Regulatory Freedom, uh, Ang Andrew Langer, submitted complaints of unethical professional behavior to the New York and California Bar Associations about former Securities and Exchange Commission official William Hinman. Evidence indicates that Hinman, former director of SEC's Division of Corporation Finance, had a conflict of interest while working at the SEC and actively sought to gain from it, using his influence to benefit his previous employer. And so, folks, uh, I, I'm sorry, people have been screaming at us, especially from the ETH side, that uh, ETHgate is nothing but a weird, wild, grand conspiracy. You know, remember Charles Hoskinson's? It's all just a grand conspiracy. Yeah, except for it's not. ETHgate is real. There's real impropriety that took place here. And it's not about specific, not, not, well, I, I haven't seen any proof specifically it having something, anything, to, anything to do with Ripple, but as far as uh, what happened here, this impropriety, this is real. This is ETHgate. This is what it is. So pretend it doesn't exist if you want, Ethereum lovers, but you're not living in reality. And so there is this post um, shared by CPAC on social media platform X, and it's a copy of uh, the whole rundown here. And for the sake of time, I'm not going to read through this whole CPAC statement. If you want to go ahead and pause as I'm scrolling down, if you really want to see the whole thing, you can do that. It's lengthy, but I'll just let you know. It's basically everything that we already know about uh, Hinman and his goings on um, after he retired from Simpson Thatcher, Simpson Thatcher Bartlett, uh, everything with the enterprise, Ethereum license, everything. That That's what this is. And then he ultimately profited $15 million. So anyway, uh, so anyway, that was shared on X, and then attorney Bill Morgan of the XRP community reposted that and wrote the following. And this is obviously a bit of sarcasm, this first line, because it's funny. And he wrote, but it is all just a grin conspiracy of the XRP community, with a little laugh emoji. And he says, it is good summary, and that is written, uh, I'm sorry, and that is without even taking into account that the SEC started investigating Ripple at a time when XRP was number three in market cap behind Ethereum. In April 2018, while the draft of the Hinman speech was being worked on by dozens of SEC staff and attorneys. How corrupt can a regulator be? Spot on, Attorney Morgan. So it's another sweet see I told you so moment. These I, I love these videos. They're just delicious. The best tasting videos you could ever enjoy. Uh, and, and so obviously this isn't going to age well. It'll be very interesting to see if anything ultimately, uh, penalty-wise, comes down for uh, for Hinman, but very predictably, the rest of the crypto space has flipped and now agrees with what the XRP community was saying at the end of 2020. This is an attack on all of us, not just XRP holders, not just Ripple. We were right. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the Moon Lambo.